It's in the wake of the death of Stefan Clark at the hands of two Sacramento police officers. Protesters were back outside the district attorney's office in downtown Sacramento this afternoon, calling for charges to be filed against the two Sacramento police officers. Now, they vowed to protest every Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday until a decision is announced. While the community calls for justice, the Sacramento Police Department says it's struggling to fill more than 100 open positions on the force, something Chief Daniel Hahn addressed at this week's city council meeting. Now, we wanted to know, has this controversial shooting of Stefan Clark had an impact on recruiting? CBS 13's Sharin Roger is live in Oak Park tonight. This is her. For it. This Shireen? is her. Huh. The San Antonio Sac PD has already had some difficulty with work, recruitment, yeah. and they say certainly the shooting of Stefan Clark is not helping put the agency in a positive light. But recruiters say it's still too soon to tell what impact Clark's shooting will have on recruiting new officers. I think the key is how do we recruit? How do we look for the certain things that are going to fit our community? While addressing City Council Tuesday night, Chief Han emphasized a challenging but critical task ahead, recruiting officers. If we're down 130 officers from the height of 804, which was the height, then you have plans actually to fill, what, 60 vacancies over the next how many months? Well, we should be at our full staffing hopefully by the end of next year. The death of Stephon Clark follows a series of other high-profile police shootings in Sacramento, including the 2016 shooting of Joseph Mann, and has further strained the trust between the community and police. A very difficult time for us. It's, it's a challenge right now, but we are going to learn a lot from this incident as we do with any major incident, and it's going to make our agency better. So um, that is something positive to be able to tell recruits. No. The agency is now looking at innovative ways to draw qualified candidates to join their force from boot camps like this one in Oak Park. My name is Akil Terry. 22-year-old Akil Terry is a recruit. He says the shooting of Stephon Clark doesn't scare him, but in fact makes him more motivated to join SAC PD now to be a part of the growth and community building. Listen to the community's needs and try to make um, policies and plans to actually help better relations with the community and police. Owen Sanders is also a recruit who hasn't been deterred. He says change is good. Some of the policies that they're implementing and they're going to start implementing anyway are definitely going to uh, be good for the future. And recruiters tell me they'll be taking boot camps like this one to other communities around the city. They'll be targeting colleges with presentations and community events so that they can hopefully meet that full staffing goal. Shereen Roger in Sacramento for us tonight. Shereen, thank you. The Sanctuary City did.